Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you doing, Gemini? For those of you guys returning, welcome my lovelies. It is a pleasure to be here with you. For those of you guys that are new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, as well as the notification bell so you guys can get notified of the recent videos going up. Let's get into your reading, Gemini. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of April 2022. Spirit guide, ancestors, and archangels, please step forward. Allow us to see clearly and concisely what is unfolding for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What can they expect for this month of April? Allow us to guide them on their journey towards answers, removing any doubts or any fears. Here we go, Gemini. Let's get into it. We're doing it a little bit different here. We're doing it completely freehand. You guys know I shuffle all the time, but I wanted to amp it up a little bit more. Keep it more organic. <laughs> All right, let's get into your reading, Gemini. First card here is the Queen of Cups. You may be dealing with water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You may also be dealing with a mother figure or a uh, female energy that is very motherly. Uh, could be something that is constantly, uh, currently, that you're constantly uh, having to deal with whether it's uh, health issues uh, is what I'm hearing for some of you guys could be like I said mother figure could be a grandmother could be a mother uh, could be your wife you know if you're married um, but it does speak about uh, having a bit of imbalance in regards to their health or health issues uh, for some of you guys this could be uh, feeling a little bit more you know more emotional as of lately I feel like uh, Gemini's have been uh, going through this this energy of having to deal with suppressed emotions or emotions that we've kept very uh, very on lockdown, not really wanting to face face them or having to deal with them. And I feel like things may be unfolding in an aspect of triggering those suppressed emotions. Why? Because they're coming to surface. There is a need for you to either deal with them or to release them, completely release them to be able to move forward. Now your next card here is the Five of Swords. So there may be some type of ego here, some type of uh, inner struggle going on with you, Geminis. Um, it could be, again, could be in regards to mother figure uh, or motherly figures. Um, it's almost like you're holding on to certain, certain things that you've been, like I said, kept under hidden, perhaps not wanting to deal with them or wanting to face them. Uh, I feel like this is more of a childlike type of energy. So you may be dealing with the situation that triggers uh, childhood traumas. Uh, and I feel like for a lot of Geminis, I've, I want to say the past year and a half, uh, a lot of childhood traumas that we've, you know, have gone through in childhood are being triggered right now and it is a process but I feel that the positive in this is because there is almost like you're holding on to some type of resentment um, whether it's a friend whether it's a family like I said whether it's a mother figure uh, there is some something that you're holding on to uh, and you interpret it as either anger or some type of you know animosity uh, but in reality, it's speaking here directly about hurt, you know, hurt kind of like when uh, you're a child and you need to be loved and you need to be encouraged. And instead of that, uh, there are expectations of you usually being the one to have to protect or father or mother, your father or your mother. So again, it turns into resentment and I feel like you're holding on to it as if it's anger. But in reality, it's just pain and, and hurt that you've been suppressing for a very long time, Gemini. Your next card here is the Four of Swords. So they are asking you um, to really figure out exactly what it is that is hurting you right now. Um, what is it that you're going through that is reminding you or making you feel, perhaps for some of you guys, making you feel like you felt when you were that child? Uh, that you weren't loved or you weren't nurtured or you weren't encouraged enough. Um, are you doing this to those around you? Are you uh, in some way uh, pushing them because you're hurt of or you're scared of being hurt? Or is it because you've completely detached yourself from emotion 
and now you act uh, or take actions based on logic and in that process of doing that because you're trying to protect yourself are you hurting the people that are around you that love you that care for you so it's almost kind of like having to protect ourselves and in order to protect ourselves we shut down emotion but those that are genuinely authentically there for us that love us and care for us when they try to be there for us or when we're going through something we have a tendency of keeping them at arm's length um, and instead of embracing that love you don't know how to deal with those emotions because perhaps you're not used to it so you're quick to like i said keep an arm keep them at arm's length and what they're telling you here this is hindering instead of helping so i encourage you guys for this month of april to allow people to be there for you to allow people to love you to allow people to pick up the slack on where other people are dropping certain things and you don't always have to be the person in armor gemini is what they're telling you here it's okay to deal with traumas it's okay to deal we need it we need to deal with it because that's the only way we're able to heal from that and finally your last card here is the eight of pentacles yeah so they are definitely encouraging you to heal through this process that you're currently going through a gemini um for a lot of you guys this could be unfolding in many different ways for some of you guys it could be family problems for others of you, it could be that you've chosen to pick up some type of escapism, whether it's drugs or alcohol, and in, in, in doing so, you're doing it because you're, you know, trying to protect yourself or trying to not feel so much emotion. But this is pretty much as a form of escapism, and it's not helping you. At this point in time, it is necessary to stop trying to work things out or to uh, stop trying to fix everyone else, Gemini, for the month of April, it's going to be very crucial and important to learn to put yourself first, to work on yourself, to take care of yourself, to ask for help if you need help. There is no shame in that, and everyone goes through that at some point in their lives. You don't have to carry the burden all by yourself, Gemini. You have to be open and allow people that like i said are genuinely there trying to help you uh, to actually give you the help that you need whether it's emotional support whether it's financially whether it's emotionally at the end of the day what they're telling you here is don't keep those that have proven throughout the years or that have proven to you through actions that they're genuinely there for you uh, it's okay to express it's okay not to be completely strong all the time and this is something that you must work through in the month of April. I hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment. And we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.